Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great and excited to be here. Well, we are excited for having you, definitely. So let's talk a little bit about Kareem. Kareem started as a startup, am mm -hmm. I right? Yeah, it started as a startup. It still is a startup in our minds. Well, <laughs> not what we've, we're seeing right now, definitely not. <laughs> so tell us about your experience as a co-founder. When Kareem started, how challenging was it for you to grow with this idea? Right. So uh, Kareem started on the first of Ramadan in 2012 and hence the name Kareem. And for the first month of Kareem, the entire Middle East was talking about Ramadan Kareem and marketing us for free. And initially the idea was a little bit more B2B focused. So we were working with large companies and providing transport services to them. And it was in the first year of the business that we decided that we launched the app and go after the on-demand consumer market. And growing a business like Kareem in the region is, is not without challenges, as you can imagine. And uh, we've had our share of both fun and challenges, uh, finding the right people to come and work with you, uh, finding engineers, finding uh, money, uh, working uh, closely with partners and governments. These are all some of the challenges that we faced in the early years of Kareem. And we continue to you know, face them and overcome them as we speak. What is a message that you would like to get across for our youth who are planning to start a startup? So I think the, the message to the youth is uh, every problem is an opportunity and the bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. So uh, if you want to start something, and you should, uh, there are a lot of problems that need solutions in our region. Start with the problem and find a problem that you're passionate about and figure out how you can use technology or other ways to solve that problem. And if you keep that mindset of solving problems, then automatically you'll build a business that is sustainable. That is brilliant. Mr. Mudathar, thank you so much for being here with us. 